think multi-site churches within one geographic city now, one metropolitan statistical area, uh, is something that the church planting movement needs to consider? Yes, and of course that's already happening. One thing that uh, encouraged multiple campuses where uh, they have their own pastor at each campus, etc., but uh, the public communicator of this movement uh, is videocast in all the churches simultaneously. Is some people observed when they first started putting up the large screens in large churches, where when somebody was singing or preaching, uh, they could also be seen on the screen. But 90% of the people were looking at the screen 90% of the time, give or take. And it occurred to somebody, hey, we could have people watching at a completely different site with no gargantuan loss at all. And that accidental discovery apparently lubricated the possibility for thinking of the multiple campuses paradigm. In Celtic Ireland, was it one teacher, much like a Methodist circuit rider, who was going to the different locations of these chapels in a settlement? One thing that Celtic Christianity represented, and one reason the Roman branch of the church was enormously uncomfortable with it, is that Celtic Christianity was basically a lay movement. Most of the ministry that matters was assigned to lay people, entrusted to lay people. They practiced the priesthood of all believers a thousand years before those words occurred to Martin Luther. Mm -hmm.